Well, folks, welcome back. What is this today? Sky, we got these videos, and I want to say this one is being recorded post. 375 years for a total solar eclipse to happen again in the same location. Damn, they're saying that it's gonna happen in the same place 20 years from now. Updates about the solar eclipse. For new gates. I, like, I have tried. Holy crap. Explain this to There's me, please. Shadow in the sky. In Scottsdale right now, near Man. McDowell and Hayden Road. And I'm not sure if you guys are seeing these photos or not. Well, I might make a dedicated video on it soon. Today was a solar eclipse. One in the comments if you've seen it with your own eyes. I was able to see it with my own eyes. Two in the comments if you just saw it online. And right now, some of these images are floating around. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. Remember to hide your chihuahuas, guys. Roll it. Traveling by airplane has become so common that one can fly from Paris to New York City and back to Paris in the same exact day. Just so you have an idea, mm. around 100,000 flights take off and land every single day. Crazy. That number. would mean that around 6 million people travel every day by airplane. That's Jeez. a lot. And from all these people flying every single day, it's totally natural that some have the curiosity to look outside and stare at the stars, the moon, the sunrise or the sunset. And in rare occasions, in very rare occasions, people get to see something that they can't explain. Yeah. Wow. What is this in the sky, y'all? What? So this is literally the first video. What is this? Damn. Oh, what that is this? High? One, two, three, four. Where's the fifth one at? Right there, Down fifth. There. <laughs> it's in the cloud. Where's it was just about at? to look like it was about to morph together or something. It's the yeah. Oh, there it is. Well, did these disappear and reappear? I don't know, I'm tripping. Maybe just went on my eyes. Okay, so we got like triangle shape happening there, and then you got like two other. Where's the fifth one at? Sorry. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, it's right. Definitely a plane here, yeah. and Look this one. It's moving. So if you're Crazy. in Scottsdale right now, near McDowell and Hayden Road, you're gonna see this thing in the sky. You know what the craziest and the most uh, baffling thing of them all, no pun intended, we're all baffled, hashtag baffled if you're baffled, but this is absolutely wild. So today was solar eclipse, right? Earlier today that uh, it happened. If you're watching this later on, you know the time frame of when we're talking about this, right? So it happened and I went ahead and I used my phone camera to record the sun and take images. Guess what? It looked like a normal day sun. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? So the camera, the pixels are not there to capture the light. My point here is that this thing would look so different with real life uh in real life with your own eyes right i wonder how does it look like with your own eyes now i uh, sure like me comparing this with a sunlight insane that's wild because this is definitely a million times less bright in comparison to the sun i agree with that but still you know like uh, recording things with phones uh, the quality is not going to be the same as hey you looking at it uh with, with your own eyes because like i was able to see the eclipse with my own eyes but on the phone it looked like a normal sun so it is absolutely insane bro Hi, we don't know what it is it gotta be It'd like be cool if we did we got a ufo floating so crazy to witness holy crap what? yeah maybe the aliens were boiling water in the sky what? like that huh Again, it happened again. Again, what? And we got the fifth one under. Going on. And this is exactly what happened with Need That Cheese Reddit user while flying over New York City just a couple of weeks ago. No, I don't. I don't need that cheese. Yeah. Yo, did you see that? In the video, we can see that it's a beautiful day outside, and there seems to be nothing unusual going on. Till? This is until you rewind the video and set it to slow motion. We can clearly see a mysterious object crossing the sky very quick. Man. It was after posting the video to Reddit that several internet users started speculating on what this mysterious object could be. Yeah. One user posted a very interesting video where he loops the object so we can see it better. And it looks as if it could be some sort of metallic, saucer-shaped object with no visible propulsion system. 
whatever this thing is, it definitely does not look like an airplane nor a helicopter. Actually, it doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. Mm. And it seems that most internet users seem to agree. Yeah. Last night I saw a Top Gun Maverick, right? And uh, I actually went on Google to get the stats right and all that. And apparently the highest speed ever recorded, uh, could be wrong, but that's what Google is saying right now, is 9.6 Mac, uh, or Mach, right? 9.6 Mach. Uh, to understand that speed is approximately n around 7,000 miles per hour, give or take. So that's an insane speed, right? So we have developed that technology, but obviously, like, you know, it's like a once in a once in a lifetime kind of situation with those kind of planes, right? I wonder, right, like, if you were to put UFOs on the other side, and then you would put, like, human-made uh, this plane that can do 9.6, NASA, like, <laughs> NASA, like, plane 9.6, space, uh, Mach spaceship, you put these side by side, Who's gonna win, you think? You think humans or or the alien mouse? Who do you think is gonna win? If you're gonna say, excuse all, they are a million times uh, more advanced or million years advanced, then yeah, I mean, then there's no competition. Strange, shape, isn't no wings, it? no tails. But when it comes to mysterious things seen on an airplane, it doesn't stop there. Okay, if the UFO is like a cigar ship, can a brother perhaps light up that doobie though? Like, can a brother perhaps take it and? Just a couple of years ago, Asler Chris Colo was flying over the state of Mato Grosso in Brazil. He was sitting next to another passenger, a woman that kept staring at the stars. This is when she noticed something odd in the sky. And at first, both of them thought it was just a star, so they kept looking at it. This is when they realized that whatever this thing was, it was behaving differently. Sweetheart. You don't want to look at uh, look at it for like more than two seconds, uh, or okay, let let let's scratch that. Uh, more than five seconds. We'll we'll give you a little bit of that leeway, right? Five seconds like that. You know, I think it's fine. But more than that, I mean, that's crazy. So they got their cameras crazy, and started Google. zooming in on the object. They slowly began to realize that whatever this thing was, it wasn't a star at all. This was something else entirely, and mm. this is what they saw. You imagine you're flying nighttime and you see this. What is that? Like? I wonder, like, the, if the pilots are looking at it too, right? Because this is from the passenger view, so the pilots would be like flying straight and looking like right here you, you know what i'm saying so i wonder what they're thinking about it i wonder if they made an announcement in plane and told people like hey look out the window you see like a ufo or i mean doesn't look like a ufo but what you call this thing i mean you're definitely not gonna call this thing like elon musk rocket because it's not moving it's there in the sky and you're not gonna call it a cloud what what you call this thing man and before we get down to the good stuff, guys, I want to say I will be starting streams uh, very, very soon on Twitch in a few days from now. If you have Twitch, definitely feel free to follow the Twitch account. This is a Twitch account. If you are using Twitter, it would be a pleasure to have you on Twitter as well. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. On Twitter, on Twitter, I will announce when I'm going to stream next, you know? What the hell? I and that's what I meant, right? Like, uh, capturing these things on your phone because on phones, it's gonna look so different. And from this angle, it looks like a like a star, like a bright-ass star, like a big-ass star. But, it, but I wonder if you were, these people were looking at it with their naked eyes and they were like, okay, now this is not, this is not a star. It looks some different. Zoom in and all of a sudden you can make out like a little bit, I guess, to what degree. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. But whatever you see with the phones, it's, uh, it's, it's going to lose a lot of detail, man. Is it moving or? At nice, first, nice. Asler, Chris Colo and the passengers aboard the airplane thought that maybe this could be a satellite or a distorted star because of the camera zoom. But then the video was shown to ufologists and afterwards posted to YouTube and Reddit. And many people seem to agree that whatever this shape-shifting object is, it's neither a star nor a satellite. It's yeah. something else. 
Yeah. Strange, isn't it? But here's where things get even stranger. In 2018, a very similar phenomenon was also seen by passengers on an airplane, if I'm not mistaken, flying over Germany. The video was posted to YouTube channel Nature Culture TV, and this is what they saw. Oh yeah, this one, yeah, 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 almost similar. And it's visible in daytime as well, it's so bright that you can look at this. Is it moving? Is it moving? Or rotating? Turning sideways? It is. It is. Holy crap. That's like my future wife uh, robe just floating around. Bruh. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it, it does look like a robe, especially like uh, you see this uh, here. No! Uh... Nah, this got a... I would not call this a UFO. At the time, though, there were several theories popping up of what this mysterious object could be. Some internet users believe that this could be a deflated weather balloon, while others state that this could be a portal of some sort or maybe even an interdimensional being or UFO. Now, even though in both cases the camera quality is very good, it's very hard to affirm what we're looking at. What I find interesting, however, Truly is that baffled. this type of phenomenon could be linked somehow to certain unknown and mysterious objects mentioned in ancient books and scriptures. Uh -oh. Not only that, the object doesn't seem to be falling or moving as a deflated balloon would. So it might just be something else entirely. But what? What's the, f the first clip wasn't necessarily, we didn't see it move. This one is, uh, however, this one is uh, rotating. Your take. My take, I'm baffled, bro. Hashtag baffle gang, rise up. You baffle, like the video if you're baffled. Now when yeah, it comes to mysterious and unexplained things in this life, for the past few months, there's been several topics and videos that have been catching a lot of attention. Oh, not good, brother. You imagine, like, you see, like, a big ass. Not necessarily, not just like a bit, not just big ass, but like what I mean is I imagine you see like a big ass Bigfoot here. Come on, guys, like. Let me finish first, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like, you guys be like stopping me when I say big ass. And this like... next video that I'm about to show you guys is one of them. Oh my god. The video was posted by Mr. Doito, an internet account that usually posts normal vlog type videos of him cooking and his daily life. Yeah, that busted, But in that one busted. specific video, he was recording the moon, and everything seemed in its place and pretty normal. This is until something strange happens, and this is what he caught on camera. Second oh moon? Oh my god. Oh shit. I cannot believe I'm getting this on video. And it feels like that this is a third one? Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys ever heard that China was looking to launch a moon. I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but this is something that I heard all the way back in 2020. Uh, yeah, during the Roni situation when the Roni was on the rise, I was hearing that their plan is to launch that. Uh, I, I believe because like the pollution, the air pollution and sky pollution, light pollution is so much. And they just want to have like their own like, you know, moon out there. I mean, you'll go figure. <laughs> uh, so they, we, we were hearing stories about it. I'm not sure about that. I don't have any update on that anymore. Yeah. But this is probably not in China. I told you. I ain't about to release this. No. I'm not trying to have somebody follow me. Bro, what in the hell? No. I don't believe that. Looks like we have a third one there. What the Yeah, what? Okay, now it's disappearing. Maybe it's reflection, but how though? How do you explain that? Is this like a uh, cloud? Is one of them clouds? Nah, okay, you After still After being see posted, it. the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and what's interesting is that there were several people leaving comments that they had seen something similar in the past few months. Now the first- 
I saw two last year. I have video too. I filmed outside. I knew I wasn't crazy. <laughs> I knew I wasn't. I knew I wasn't crazy. I, I I know my face came hiding the last part, but that's what uh he said. I knew I wasn't crazy. I have a video of two sons in Missouri. Yeah, we've seen some two sons videos as well in the past, right? Like first thing that I could think of is that maybe he's behind a window or some sort of glass, and it's just a reflection of the moon in the window shield. But yeah. if you observe closely in the video, the second and third supposed moon are behind the clouds. And this would not happen if this were to be a reflection of some sort. So this has to be something else entirely. Example a glitch or what? But when it comes to these types of mysterious glitches, it doesn't stop there. From the flashlight. Uh, but back when I was in school, teacher never told me that there are gonna be two moons or there are two moons. They, teacher never told me that. Don't get Explain it. Explain this to me, please. I don't, I don't get it either. How am I just seeing put it back? Just a couple of weeks ago, a mother and a daughter who live in Georgia had just sat down to watch the night sky, something that they usually do. Bad idea. This Bad is idea. when they noticed something that they couldn't explain. So they did what anyone would do. They got their cameras and began recording what was about to become one of the most viral glitch videos of the year. Check this out. I don't get it. So shadow, huh? I don't get it either. How am I just seeing Put the it back. circle? How are we- Yeah, you see the shadow right here. So there's gotta be something here. Is it like so cloudy or so sm smog? Is that maybe? Maybe, right? I'm just assuming that. Can this happen? I never tested it. This just came like that. Maybe there's like a lot of smog or a lot of uh, smoke. So the shadow is because of that. We seeing the shadow of the tree from the flashlight when it's the sky behind the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can small uh, do that? And why is there a stop point at the end of my flashlight when it's pointed at the sky? Why isn't it going on further? Like what the f is this? Don't cuss. <laughs> There's it a glitch in the matrix. Sense. In video game terms, you call it, I believe, okay, now I, ha I had that, now I'm, I forgot it, rip, bro. Yeah, you know, like, out of the map, out, out of the map, you cannot go out of the map, right? In video game terms, this is like out of the map glitch right there. Wow. Or, you can see the, the draw distance. Maybe I'm just dumb, and I just the, don't get it. Yeah, draw distance. You see the shadow. There's a shadow in the sky. You can see the shadow. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom. There's a shadow. You're going too fast, honey. Why okay. can we see the circle of light? I don't feel like I've ever seen that before in my life. I don't think I have either. Not in the sky. It just kind of disappears, you know? Yeah, After being really posted, baffled. the video quickly amassed millions of views and most internet users were confused. Some believe that this is due to low clouds or fog. While yeah, other fog makes sense. Wow, low clouds are amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's that. But I still would like to believe that I am baffled. I quite, I literally am baffled. There's quite think that this is a legit glitch in the matrix. Fog is. Now, even I'm, though I'm these could be fog. clouds or even fog, what many internet users are arguing is that the shadow's distance between the trees and the fog, if this is fog, is too small. Not only that, it is equally distributed and distant from all of the trees. Yeah, 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 which yeah, yeah, yeah. makes it look like this is some sort of wall in the sky. Yeah, 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 now yeah. this is what fog usually looks like. Uh, Quite strange, isn't it, that in this particular video, you don't see fog or low clouds intertwining with the trees. Are we seeing the shadow of the tree? Do you notice how all of the treetops are clearly visible? Strange, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Okay, a new word, I guess. Strange, isn't it? Hashtag baffle gang, rise up. Now, the person who posted this video left a comment stating that seeing it with her own eyes, it didn't look like fog or clouds. So, is this maybe just a coincidence? And is it really just fog or clouds? Or is there something else going on here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Guys, the night is still young. Click on this video on the screen. And you're gonna be really, really baffled. If you think you're baffled, click on this video and wait for the next clip that we have, guys. That's gonna get you double baffled. Double mega baffled. Click on it and I'll see you right there.